My name is Ella. We are going to go on an adventure together. We will be looking for history clues to help us explore what happened long ago. We have a mystery to explore and we will collect clues from primary sources to find the answer to our history question. How have community helpers changed over time? We will put the clues into our researcher journal and use them throughout our adventure. Let's go! We have gone back in time to pay a visit to a place in Washington, D.C. This picture was taken a long time ago before anyone you know was born. What do we see? Our first clue is to look at the people in the photo. Let's find the children in the picture. Tap on the children when you find them. Yes! Another clue to help us figure out what happened long ago is what people in the photo are wearing. What is a clothing item that every child is wearing? Yes, they are all wearing hats. Now, let's find the adult in the picture. Tap on the adult to collect this clue to your journal. Yes! There are also words in the photo that can be important clues. Find the word school, tap on it to save it to your journal. Yes, that sign says school. Now that we have collected some clues, we can use this evidence to help us. Let's look at the clues in our journal. We have a child wearing a hat, an adult, and a sign that says school. Which of these clues shows us that this is a picture from long ago? When this photo was taken, it was in fashion for everyone to wear hats, even kids. This clue provides evidence that the photo is from long ago. Let's look again at the clues in our journal. We have a child wearing a hat, an adult, and a sign that says school. Which of these is the best clue to show us that the children are standing outside of a school building? I think it would be the sign that says school. You got, you got it. it. The sign tells us that they are outside of a school. There is more to this picture. What animal do you see? Drag the matching animal to the box. I think this is a horse. Yes, yes this, this is, is a, horse. a horse. Tap, Tap the, horse the horse to add it to your journal. Let's look at some more of the picture. Tap the man to zoom in. This is a man. Let's look closer at what the man is holding in his hand. What shape does this remind you of? Oh, this looks like a, a rectangular prison. It does look like a cube. The shape gives us a clue about what this might be. Think about something that takes this shape. What might this be? Let's explore more and see if your ideas change as we collect more clues. Maybe the size of the object the man is holding can help us explain what is going on and give us another clue to figure out what this community helper does. Which of these containers do you think the object would fit in? Do you think it would go in a cup? No. Do you think it would go in a bucket? No. I bet it would go into an ice box. I think it might fit into this ice box. 
An ice box was used a long time ago before people had refrigerators. They would place a giant block of ice in the box with their food to keep it cold. So, have you figured out what the man is holding in his hand? Let's find one more clue. I noticed there was some writing on the cart. Take a look at it. Can you see the word ice? Tap each time you see it. I like how you used your careful observation skills to find the word ice. There is a second word ice on the cart. Find it and tap on the word. Yes, that also says ice. So, here's what we have figured out. The man is holding a large cube-shaped object and standing in front of a cart with the word ice. But that is not all that we found. In the same picture, we also saw a group of children standing with a woman in front of a building with the word school on it. Let's look in your journal to see everything you've collected. Let's look at our clues. We have a woman standing in front of a school. What do you think that woman does for a job? Mother, teacher, cart driver. I would think she is probably a teacher. You think she might be a teacher. Choose two clues from your journal that tell us why you think so. That makes sense. Okay. Community helpers have changed over time. We can see the changes in what they wear, the tools and objects they use, and even the ways that they help in the community. Match the picture from long ago with the picture from today. Drag each then picture to a now picture that matches it. That's a match. Long ago, ice was delivered in large blocks. Now we can make small ice cubes in our freezer with an ice tray. That's a match! Long ago they delivered ice with a cart and horse, but now we use a truck. Great thinking! Delivery people still bring ice to our communities even though they may use different tools than long ago. Now we have a teacher. You match the teacher and student from long ago with the photo from today. Nicely done! And lastly, we have a refrigerator. You matched the refrigerator from today with an ice box from long ago. Great job! This has been fun exploring how community helpers have changed over time. I can't wait until our next adventure with primary sources. See you later! Thank you for watching!